Happy Mardi Gras from South Louisiana. Today is technically Monday, Lundi Gras. I don't make it up. Um, found this picture online. This is about as close as I will get to Bourbon Street at my age. I've been in South Louisiana for over 40 years now. I have did the Bourbon Street several times at a younger age. Um, if y'all have never experienced it, if you're a little bit older, you know, it might be something you want to experience. I would never bring kids down here. I've seen kids down here. I don't know what people are thinking or they possibly just don't know. You know, any other part of the year, I will say that French Quarter is like, if y'all ever seen Harry Potter and how they have certain things hidden in plain sight and stuff like that, and people just don't see it, as they say in Harry Potter, muggles don't see it. You can bring on a normal day, on a Saturday during the day, during the day, kids up and down Bourbon Street, kids up and down all kinds of these side streets and stuff like that and see some great stores and some great history and that kind of stuff. But as the night falls, kids have to get out of there because it becomes a party place with a lot of alcohol involved. And it's something that you won't want kids at a young age to experience. Um, yes, there's a lot of topless nudity that goes on during Mardi Gras and stuff like that, daylight and nighttime. Um, and it just is what it is. It's, it's debauchery at its finest, I guess. Um, there is a limit, you know, it, but the police won't allow too much craziness and stuff like that. Um, but it is an experience that I would say you might have to experience it one time, but nowadays with the internet, I'm sure you can find some videos of this kind of stuff going on and that's probably close enough. And if I can't get like, y'all see the balconies up there, you know, sometimes you have friends that own businesses and things like that. Or, you know, people that can get you a ticket to their private balcony that they'll rent out. And these, these will rent out a year in advance of Mardi Gras. Um, that's usually catered with good food. Um, you know, Louisiana's finest foods and stuff like that, as we would say, fried shrimp and seafood and gumbos and jambalayas and stuff like that. Um, and probably some a lot better food than that. And usually unlimited drinks and everything else you can imagine. The balconies are where it's at. I would do it again, maybe on a balcony. The problem is, is when it gets like this, you can't even make it to the hotel or to the place where your balcony is. But it, it gets a little crazy. And it's just another picture I found where basically the same thing. You see the crowds on the bottom, how crazy this place will get. Um, like I said, this is a good fat Tuesday. And I'm going to tell you, even if it's raining, if it's not really, really downpouring raining, these crowds will still be like this. It's crazy. But all right, enough of that. Time to move on. So I wanted to make a spreadsheet. I've seen some other YouTube people do it just to try to keep up with what I'm involved in right now. And this isn't even everything. And it's hard to put some of this with numbers. I've seen some that put, you know, this is how much I'm making right now, a week, a year total and stuff like that. And I'm going to remind everybody, I failed college math. So <laughs> I got honors in science and taking remedial math. So math is not my, you know, my, my highlight or, you know, or anything like that. But this is just trying to keep track of what I have going on right now for people who have asked, you know, hey, am I involved in this? Hey, am I involved in this? So you know, we start with helium IOT and I, I will put at some point, you know, whether or not an ROI and these type of things and stuff like that. For those again, and if you've heard this story, bear with me, I'm sorry, but um, I purchased with two buddies of mine, purchased a helium miner back in 2020, 2021, something like that. In the beginning, there was only about 15,000 miners online. We purchased our first miner for close to, well, not close to, right at $5,000. And after y'all pick yourself up off the floor, that's why I went in with two buddies with it. <laughs> um, however, once we got that miner set up, we ROI'd on that miner in 17 days. Yes, pick yourself up off the floor again. 17 days. Where we screwed up was we were going to retire early, buy Lambos, buy jets, buy islands for those jets with Lambos on each island. And we just kept buying more miners instead of collecting, making money. Now, positive and negative. Positive is 
technically you are relied on those miners because we didn't come out of pocket for any of these miners. The negative is we have nothing really to show for it other than what we're making today. Now, I will not lie. We did take some profits. You know, we got hit with a hurricane real bad about two years ago. And I had a decent amount of h and on my side saved. And that did help when my family had to evacuate. I had Ethereum miners going also on, on um, video cards and stuff like that. I was making like $20 a day or something like that in Ethereum mining at the time. And I had a pretty good war chest saved up. But when your house gets destroyed by a hurricane on top of your family, all of a sudden needs to go on a vacation. If you can think of y'all, if y'all had to go evacuate and leave for almost two weeks, pack your family up and leave for two weeks to go to a hotel, what that would cost you. And I rated, and if it, you know, I say I rated as a negative thing, but it's the positive thing. If it wasn't for crypto, I don't know what we did at the time. I had to work here. Y'all know uh, I'm a first responder and been doing that for 28 years and i was here at work so my wife and kids had to pack it up and go to houston or uh, in north louisiana or something like that so i will spin that as a positive that it was helium that helped pay for some of that so i have made some money with helium but today what am i making today with helium well today i'm making with helium 16 dollars a day i'm making about 7500 um in helium mining 16 dollars a day that's what I'm making right now. So I also have demo. I have three demo devices. I just, I guess, finished out the fourth week. If that's, if you, you say I've made 249 coins so far. Um, and I just began the level two part of that. So, so I've made $112 in four weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Um, which has paid for one of those miners already. Um, I think I paid $89 a piece or something like that for them. And from what I understand and what I've seen in other videos, when I be do begin this level two, that number will go up a decent amount. And as it keeps going up, it'll, I mean, and I keep them connected, it'll go up. Weather XM. I have a Weather XM that was supposed to arrive today. I was hoping to be doing it on video today unboxing video today but it didn't come in today fedex moved it to tomorrow will it come in tomorrow with mardi gras it's i live in between new orleans and baton rouge if i was closer to new orleans i would say it's not coming tomorrow being baton rouge things are open on tuesday it's a hit or miss if i'm gonna get this tomorrow or not you know i'll do an unboxing video and when i do do this weather xm and i set it up i will be adding a fry license to it like a lot of y'all suggested um so I can add a fry license to that so I can dual mine the weather XM token also with the uh, fry license also. Wing bits. Y'all know I'm very, very big into wing bits right now. Um, I kind of put wing bits, you know, and, and BHS together for the guys at BitHarvest just because I'm trying to, any anything that I'm going to try to put wing bits on at this point, whether it's a friend, family or anything, I'm putting BHS on at this point. Um, it just makes sense to do it at this point. Um, not every device will be able to have um, helium on it because some of them are potatoes and some are rock pies that I took the hat off because they were trash anyway and it didn't work right. But at this point, when I'm setting up for wing bits, I have a friend right now, I'm doing one for in Bay St. Louis. Um, I've told you about that before and that's gonna have a BHS. I'm, I'm waiting on right now, BHS has where you can download the software, put it on the SD card that's coming and I can just install it the BHS software firm, whatever you want to call it directly on a firmware card, you know, and, and then just, just add it to add it to device. You know, I have my little potatoes in, in a, a case like this with a fan and I can just put the, you know, put everything on the SD card and going rip and go. So be wing bits is, I, I, you know, I'm doing this video in a little bit of a rush. I apologize. I probably should do a little more homework. That's on me. I apologize. But, I'm pretty sure that they're trying to get a token done or the tokenomic or whatever done by the end of Q1. I know they picked the um, Python network for that. So one thing I will go back, which is reminding me, is for my Helium, what I'm doing now is I am converting, I have, I've told you before, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of IoT. 
what I'm doing now is I'm converting. I was converting some of this into mobile. I got a decent amount of mobile now. I don't want to go too overboard on that. With the news with Mexico and stuff like that, using the HNT network, and they got to burn HNT for data and stuff like that. I have been putting some of that in HNT. I also had put some in the BHST a while. I own probably for all full disclosure, maybe about a thousand dollars worth of BHST, which is all in those pools that I've talked told you about in the past that I'm making some pretty decent money on. And now I've started also purchasing Pyth, which is a Solana coin. Um, because I'm, I'm buying it on the, on the Solana network. So I am using my Phantom wallet with the Jupyter extension on it and transferring. Actually, I'm doing all this, to be honest with y'all, through the Helium app itself. The Helium app has a Jupyter extension. So when I download at the end of the day, I'm downloading my 5,000, 6,700 Helium IoT. I'm then going to the Jupyter extension and just transferring it right then and there. And it's all in that. And then I can move my Pyth or whatever I want to another wallet if I want to. So moving on, I got Modus. I, I, Modus works when it works. Yeah, I've seen my video on Modus. It is a pain in the butt that when I get my card in a little while to go run to the store, I have to sit there and try to deal with this again. Um, you know, it's, it's a pain in the rear end. Um, full disclosure, you know, going off my last video, I had a lot of issues in my last video where when I had this tethered to my phone, I couldn't do anything else with the phone. I tried it with a different phone because I have two phones and the other phone also, when it was tethered, I couldn't go to YouTube. I couldn't use apps and stuff like that. That has cleared up. So I can't tell you if that was per phone. Again, two different phones, two different models of phones. Um, one was an iPhone 14 and one was an iPhone 15. Both of them had that issue. It seems to have cleared up. It has, it gives me a problem every now and then, but the other day I ran this for a couple of hours when I was driving, didn't have an issue. It's still pain in the butt that you have to sit here and worry about tethering. I love the fact that Demo, I don't have to touch it at all, ever. It hits my helium devices around town. Don't have to worry about it. So I have made 182 modus since um i think it was, I, i'm I had to go back and see how long it was it's been it looks like it's been five days because i did that video um so today's monday so it's i've had it hooked up for about six days now if y'all didn't see um my live stream yesterday we live streamed a parade that came through our town um pretty decent crowds but i don't want to get too off track here so Six days, I made 182 T modus. What does that mean? I don't know. It's not full out yet, you know. So I don't know what that's going to equivalent to as far as money. I do have a mining score now of 99 percent. In the previous videos, I told you all my percentage was like 60, 70 percent. Um, people want me to explain this to them. I can't explain it. When I look at what causes your score to go up and down, to me, it's pure gibberish. You know, they deal with these mechanisms and V2N runner challenges with a V2V proof of availability. You can read this and read, I told you I failed math. And they got all these crazy formulas in here and stuff like that. Proof of availability, um, challenge mechanism, and then the scoring, and there's some more math in here. So y'all know, knock yourselves out. I just know you keep it connected when you're driving around. As long as you have it connected when you're driving around, you have it connected to your phone, powered up, your score goes up. I think part of it is, is when you don't have a tether and it doesn't have a network and it's trying to beacon or it's trying to do whatever it, this proof availability is, the challenges, and when it tries a challenge and it can't receive or transmit a challenge, it knows it's not connected to the network and that's what's hurting your score. That's me putting a dumb man's, you know, old man's idea. I, I'm pretty sure that that's what that is. I can't see it being anything else. But right now, my scoring is going up. Press is my next one. Again, another project that we in early on. I, I don't know how I feel about this one. To me, um, I, I hate to be knocking products because maybe I don't do enough homework and stuff. But the only thing I see them concentrating on is how many referrals did you get today? And, you know, I, I don't know. 
I just, I guess I'm old school, you know, and, and when a project's more worried about how many referrals you're getting and how, and how much you're pushing it, I mean, there's so many people involved in grass now. Do you really have to be hammering everybody on referrals? And when you go and you look at, you know, the referral program and, and you look at all this stuff on the bottom that get my fat head out the way, but you, you can see that, that they, they, they just push the referrals, push the referral, push the referrals. And like, what's it go to? I, 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 I don't know, man. You know, um, you can see I'm going up. I, I'm, I got, I want to say two computers on three or four different networks. You know, you max out at 2,400 a day. So even if you have three or four computers on the same network, it cuts off at 2,400. So, you know, it, it's, you might have it on a certain IP that says you have 4,000 tokens right now, but when it goes on to the next day, for the previous day, it's going to cut it off at 2,400. So the most you can make is 2,400 per day. Um, I know grass is not completely live yet. They're not doing the whole internet sharing thing. Once it does start the internet sharing thing, I'm going to review this again. I don't know still how I feel about this. Again, I'm using computers on separate networks that um, I don't ever, ever use and will never use, will never surf the internet, will never pay a bill or anything like that. And I will not suggest anybody this project is not new is not lucrative enough to take that chance and open up that vulnerability. Maybe again, I'll keep saying I'm old school, but I know too much about IT security and just don't know how I feel about this this widget or whatever you want to call this Chrome extension running in a a computer that you would pay bills and type in financial stuff or any other kind of stuff that should be secure. I wouldn't do it. That's just me. Could be wrong. I could get big upset in people watching this. If so, and you like grass and you 100%, you know, and confident of it, that's fine. Good luck to you. But me, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, again, I have a, a spared network that I got from my local uh, IP provider. It's got this and like one or two other things on it. So that's why that's why I don't even care that the, that the external IP is on here because all you're going to get to is two SSH things and in this grass computer and that's it. And the two SSH things are running two IOT little things. So, you know, I, I don't know how I feel, but again, y'all can see where this is and I'm right and I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Our next one is Natix. I'm at 900,000 tokens. What's that mean right now? I don't know. Um, again, this is another one. Doesn't have the actual token out yet. Um, I'm in a February cycle, whatever that means. I'm ranked 617. I don't know what that that's a good ranking or bad ranking. I don't know. This is another one where I have a spare phone that's running off of a hotspot in my car. And as you're driving around, you're mapping and you and it's not exactly from what I'm told, like Hive Mapper, because this is more looking for kind of live information while you're driving. If there's a wreck, if there are cars in certain areas, um, how if there's a pothole in a certain area and it's picking up those objects and giving you points for those objects that you're detecting. So it is different than what Hive Mapper is doing is Hive Mapper is trying to map areas so they can sell that to people who don't want to pay for Google Earth type fees. So people who are saying, you know, Natix ain't going to work because Hive Mapper has a better camera with better, you know, image quality, whatever like that. That's not really correct because Natix is, from what they're saying, and when you read about it, and what the Discord says, they're not looking for that same type of information. Again, I'm going to say this right now. First of all, none of this is financial advice. This is all my own personal feelings. I've told you all that many, many, many times. This is just stuff I'm involved in. But I've always said over and over since the last previous project that some of you all know that we all should forget about project when I got attacked for why am I also talking about this project? It should be that other project and nothing else. And I keep saying, this is not getting jumped in a gang or something like that. I'm in all these projects. I like all these projects. I might not be in love with them, but my point is I can still like demo and still also like weather XM. I can still like weather XM and then eventually go buy a fry weather thing. 
Um, I can be in modus and natix. I can be in love with wing bits. It don't matter. You know, we are going to get involved in all these projects and we just need one to do super duper great. And then whatever happens with the other ones, it, you know, I don't see why people get so butt hurt over you're involved in this project, but I heard you talking about this project. And then why are you talking about this project? Cause you're in this project. That's, that's BS. So Natix, if y'all are in, in their Twitter X, if y'all are in their discord, you will see that they are really into it and they are really pushing it. And, you know, I've told y'all many, many, many times, I love AMAs. I love to see the owners or the CEOs or the people controlling or whoever's running the project, get behind a camera, put their face in front of a camera, put their real information out there. There you can see who is doing this. You can see to me, maybe it's just how I can read people, but I can, I can watch some of these AMAs I've seen over time and see how many people are there because they got hired and how many people like a project, you know, you look at the two brothers that are running Silencio and you can tell they're passionate about this project and what this project is trying to do. You watch the AMA on wing bits and you can tell those guys are passionate that they're trying to change the game on 1090 ADSB and all this stuff like that. And they are passionate with what they're trying to do. So, um, and Natix is that same way, you know, so it's something that, that, that I, I, you know, I don't know. It's something I feel com comfortable about. How about that? Silencio is a product that I think we need to start talking more about. I've, I'm at 6,200 coins for right now. I don't know what the hell that means. Again, it's another, another, another project we're involved in that's early that we don't know, you know, what it's going to turn out to be. Silencio is an easy, easy, easy project to be involved in. Yes, it's not 100% passive because you do have to do some stuff to your phone. When I'm sitting around a restaurant, I open the Silencio app. If I'm eating lunch at a restaurant, I'm opening the Silencio app. If I am sitting in traffic that's dead stopped and ain't going to move for five minutes, I roll down the window, run the Silencio app. Um, when I'm in front of my house sitting around, if I'm in my backyard sitting around, I run the Silencio app and I'm just gaining those tokens. It's easy. Again, we don't know what's going to happen, but... It, it it has you know it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent project got people behind it moving on to fry i am currently in the process of taking the old computer that i've seen on um, some videos on and i am converting that complete completely wiping it actually i just threw the whole hard drive away i had an extra hard drive that was brand new little um ssd drive shoved that in there put windows 10 on it i will be downloading the fry miner software getting a license for it, and I will be doing the satellite mining. There are mixed videos on how much I will make for that. But to me, I have a satellite miner, uh, a satellite receiver from a previous project that's USB. I have a old computer. So basically it's going to cost me, I think it's $100 or whatever it is for the license. And that's it. We'll see how it goes. So I'll be mining fry here in, a, in the satellite in addition to the weather xm when i add that fry license i have also i told you a lot that i got completely surprised of a jupiter at, uh, drop making 800 dollars from that um and i used that money to buy the hive mapper and also the weather xm and the rest of it i held a little bit of it and the rest of it i converted to bhst and i have that in the bhst slash jupe pool we'll see how that goes but anyway so i had i did end up buying a hive mapper only because i have told many y'all many y'all many y'all that I think buying at this time is a high huge gigantic risk because yes people are making a hundred dollars a month or whatever they make and i've heard some outlandish crazy numbers but that's today in seven months now five months when all these people start getting their mappers in. Yes, we hope the token does go up to offset it, but rewards will be slashed. If I wasn't, if I didn't get that jupe drop, I would not have bought this. I'm just telling y'all that to be honest with y'all. Y'all want to take that risk? Who knows? Like we said, you know, I always go back to this helium. You heard me at the beginning of this 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 video. I made five thousand dollars 
in 17 days and I'm making $16 a day with 14 or 15 miners. That's a dollar a day per miner. The same thing could happen here. You just got to be careful with it. So in closing, like I told y'all, I'm really into wing bits. I like what wing bits is doing. I think that's going to end up being pretty good. I like Nadix, um, you know, and I talked about grass. I showed that image with grass. I've repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly that y'all probably sick of hearing about it. Talked about bit harvest. They're putting software on these devices that you can multi-mon. Full disclosure, I have not looked into these other data sharing apps that they have on there. Maybe I should just for review purposes. You know, I just know that they're not blowing the world away with rewards. And I think they're making a couple of cents a day or something like that. So I guess it's just why, you know, I'm sorry if I sound greedy, but I guess if I was, if it was making a dollar or two a day, I would take my time to, to learn about it and to do more stuff on it. Um, so, but we are pushing bit harvest. I'm not employed by any of them, by any of these projects. I'm not being compensated by any of these projects or anything like that. Um, the bit harvest stuff, I have paid, I have that on three devices right now. One of them, full disclosure, I gave them a Bobcat because they needed whatever G model I have. And I gave that to them because they needed it. And I took the risk of sending it to them. Um, I didn't, back then, this was two, three, four months ago. I didn't even know these guys. We knew them from the previous project. Gave it to them. They used it for a couple of months. And part of me didn't, didn't know if I'd ever see it again. And sure enough, um, source code is the guy running that over there on the discord reached out to me and said, brother, we, we finally got it. And we wanted to give you the newer version, which is the beta five version. And that one I didn't pay for, cause I was part of that test, the test pilot program. I now have bit harvest running on two miners that I had helium on. Both of them happen to have issues with the wing bits at that same location. It worked out great. And they put the, their stuff on there. I paid the $35 in crypto both times to both of them. And I've had my honest reviews on them. So far, they are blowing it away. No problems at all. Um, both have wing bits running on them. Both have helium running on them. Hopefully, they get some new stuff also. So not going to spend too much time on that. But so somehow... You know, I want to keep up with this in my projects and so we can kind of see how this is doing. You know, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep this by month or what, but I have to start. I have horrible record keeping. I will tell you all that right now. Horrible record keeping. I couldn't tell you where I bought crypto at, Adam at over the years, ADA and Solana and all these other tokens and stuff like that. I have horrible record keeping. So maybe together we can try to do this, but I'm going to let y'all go for now. And happy Mardi Gras if you don't hear me from, from, from you know, till then or whatever. And uh, see you all in the next video.